show on you. I know it's it's early because you don't have the pads on at all. But. Well, uh, first things first, and that would be the classroom. You know, they've got tremendous passion. You know, studying the game, preparing for each day. You know, they'll get the scripts early, and they'll jump on their iPads at night. They'll text questions in to make sure that they're all on the same page in terms of assignments and adjustments. So they're really into that aspect. They study a lot of their own personal cut-ups that we make for them, and they give feedback to that. So that's always positive. And then just their interaction and how active they are in the meeting room. They're well engaged, really great eye contact, you know, and they're, they just have a real passion for football. So the, I'm really pleased with the group as a, as, as a whole. But when you watch uh, guys like J.O., it's really fun to watch him improve and get better with reps. I've been impressed with J.C. He spent a lot of yeah. time extra uh, here. I mm -hmm. think he's probably on his way back in yeah. after spending time at A. That um, impressed you, maybe shows how much it means to him. You know, he's uh, he's built a little bit differently from a mental aspect from most first rounders that I've been around. He'll he'll always do the extra. He's always out here every day. Of course, you know the story about Rand chasing him out of the rain here a couple weeks ago. But he's always doing things to improve his craft, which is which is fun. It's enjoyable as a coach. You know, you just you yearn for players like that you know, in your room, because they're great examples for the other people, for the other guys in the room to learn from. But he's he's uh, really obsessive about giving every, getting everything correct. He's a perfectionist that way, so it's fun to watch him go back out on the field and correct something that he wants to get better at. When it comes to Nicholas Petit for our coach, uh, just what has he been? We've clearly not seen him out here, but we know he's, he's yeah. in that building. He's been great in the film and in the classroom. He's been outstanding. Uh, unfortunately, you know, he's still on the mend. So uh, we haven't had that luxury of getting those reps from the classroom to the grass, but he's excellent. He's got uh, really good awareness. Uh, he has really good questions. Uh, he can anticipate you know, adjustments when we're talking through schematics on the, on the board or just in general off the film. So he's been a real pleasure, and I'm excited to get him in training camp when he's healthy and see what he can do. Does he, is he behind the gun at all when it comes to, you know, maybe I not? I wouldn't say so. Okay. I wouldn't say so. Okay. We're a ways away from the official depth chart, but mm -hmm. is it of your line is going to be pretty wide open when you put the pads on? I think so. I think in all fairness, everybody competing for spots and jobs, I, I, I think that's the case. I think that, you know, uh, you know, Sadiq, you know, Rad, Dan, all those guys are, are working extremely hard. Uh, there's a lot of versatility there, guys that we can mix and match at, at the guard spot and also at center. So I'm still kind of looking for the two and the three center, trying to find ways to build that depth and uh, build that contingency because, as you well know, that can go pretty quick uh, if you do hit that injury snag. So we're, we're trying to build depth there, trying to get more experience. So we're cross-training all those guards at the center position. But I think overall on the right side, yeah, we're just looking for guys to come in and compete. Obviously, when Jalen gets a little bit more healthier and, and when Nick gets back out there and then J.O.'s out there, it, it should be a lot of fun to watch these guys get after it. You talked about J.C. being mm -hmm. kind of wired differently. The process, or were you just yeah. surprised by it when he got out here? No, we weren't surprised at all. You know, that was the word coming out of Alabama. So uh, just everything that he does, talking to the people, you know, our scouts gave us really good background on him. So his makeup is outstanding in that regard. So he's really a, a guy that's, like I said, he's incessant about getting everything right. You know, he's just, he's just com like uh, compulsive, you know, behavior where he just wants to be perfect. And, and that's great. But he also, you know, just visiting with him, he just needs to relax sometimes and just play out his role, you know, just take a deep breath, you know, and let's just get things mastered one, one thing at a time. Peter says he feels much better. Is he a guy that's poised to maybe take a... A big step this year? I do. I, I, you know, for the talent that he has, you know, especially when he came out of Northwestern, you know, he had guard and tackle ability. I mean, you could play him anywhere. Uh, but it was really great to see him transition, you know, into the inside position. Reminds me a lot, you know, when I had Sheriff and Zach Martin, those guys were tackles. They were left tackles in college. And they made that transition inside. So uh, very similar in that respect. Uh, I think he'll take some leaps in the fall, you know, I'm really hopeful of that and uh, you know, just getting the consistency of playing that position at a high level, you know, and I think he's capable of doing that. You had all of your guys here for a day that was mm -hmm. not mandatory. Uh, they, they've been here all season. They've been yeah. the entire off season. They've been here. So it's been fun to watch these guys, you know, they, uh, they love football, you know, and they, they, they want to get 
the system down. So I think being here is really important for them to come in and, and learn and, and get all the nuances, the calls, communications, techniques. There's so much. So I, it's, it's, it's the toughest position to play in the field. So, you know, they want to be here and it's just a good indicator of guys that love the game and want to play. Okay. Thanks, coach. Thanks.